hi guys welcome back to my channel Hydra cooks i am so excited today i'm making one of my all-time favorites growing up as a child my mom used to make this for us every winter it was probably once a week or if not twice a week <laughs> and i am so happy to show you this pot that my mom late mom gave to me and this is where I'm making my soup in today. It's quite a thin base, so it cooks. It allows the soup to cook a bit, to cook a bit longer. I mean, quicker. <laughs> Sorry, man, guys. <laughs> it's not <laughs> froh. Well, <laughs> so I've put in some water and I've switched on my heat on high heat. Okay, and I'm gonna add so a cup and a half of split peas. If you um, are making a bigger pot of soup, you can just double the ingredients no? and that's going in. And I've got some meaty bones that I'm going to add with this. If you have soup bones, then throw in soup bones. I didn't get any soup bones, but I'm going to add in the meaty bones. No? And about four cloves, now just that I'm adding in. Two chilies. Two garlic cloves that I've cleaned. Let's put this in there. Okay, that's that for now. This is the first part of my soup. And this is going to be so quiet. I, was, I started quite early. It's early morning still here. Because I want the soup to be done when my children come from school. <laughs> so this is going to boil for about two hours. Until the split piece and, and the meat and the meaty bones is nice and soft. Me. But I'll show you that when I come back. And I'll see you now now. And while this is boiling, I'm going to finish my washing, hang up the washing, do whatever I need to do, because it's going to be quite some time still. No? Okay, see you now, now, guys. Okay, so I have put on the lid, and this is going to go for, so, two hours, until your split peas is nice and soft. And you know, split peas is very hard, so that takes a while to, to um, boil softly. And that sound here in the background, that is not my washing machine, but I can't pursue it. <laughs> yeah, young. I'm not going to go sit down now and not do anything. I'm going to finish my chores while the soup is busy boiling. <laughs> oh, and, and I mentioned that I want this to be done um, before the kids come from school. And why that is my intention is because... I want them to have the same memories that I had growing up when we came from school. Then Bahir will have a soap for us. That was so so nice. You ought to come home, and the soup is done, and you're cold and you're tired, and you just smell the nice aroma of of the vegetable soup. Yo, the best one of my best memories ever. And to think now today, I am making soup for my children in the same pot that my mom used to use <laughs> how fortunate are we no? we are so fortunate alhamdulillah i just count my blessings every day every day so grateful okay guys i'm gonna um finish some chores and then i'll be right back okay guys i'm going to throw in my salt and pepper now. Okay, I'm going to throw in my salt. And that is all to taste me. And what I mean by that is, 
as you go, we go along making this, we taste it and see, okay, do I need a little bit more or not? And everyone's got their own preference of how much salt they want in their food or soup. And then I've got some um, ground black pepper that I'm going to throw in. This is also to taste how much you want. Turn it to reach your own. And then one of my favorite, some crushed chilies. So a teaspoon or also again to taste me. How, how much you want because remember I threw in two whole chilies already but we like our soup with a little bit of a bite and now it can continue to boil for the remainder of the time or until your split piece is soft and I'll see you now man. okay guys so my split peas and my meaty bones have been boiling now for two hours and I'm just going to check if it's, it's all boiled through and soft. Nice. I like that. So I have um, peeled and grated about two cups of carrots or what I've done, it was this size carrots that I had, so I had to use, it's quite small, so I had to use like six of them, six or seven, yeah. So if you have the larger carrots, then use about three large ones, no? And I've grated it on the fine side of my grater, and that's going in. And I've peeled and grated three onions and so uh, a bunch of celery ne? just gonna top it off with some water just fill up the top again And now I'm going to let this boil for another two hours, ne? and I'll be right back. Okay, so the soup has been boiling for about two hours. I'm just going to give it a taste and see if it needs some more salt or pepper. Ne? Mm -hmm. mm. Yo, that tastes so <coughs> liquor. Guys, the two hours is up and that's my soap. Clan. Just lower the heat a bit. And come on. Just in time for my children that's going to come from school now. Ooh, they're going to be very happy for this. Look at the chicken and the potato potato. And there you have it, split pea soup, liquor, perfect for the season. Ne? Oh, thank you guys for watching my video. I video I appreciate it so so much. <laughs> yeah, I laugh so much myself. I can't take everything so seriously. 
I'm excited for this. Oh, my favorite. Once again, shukran so much, guys, ne, for watching my videos and supporting me and inspiring me and motivating me to master on it. Come what may. And I hope all of you have a fantastic day. Bye. See you next time.